Hello, my name is David Sutherland. I went to Henderson Row School in Edinburgh and my mum used to take me there in the car. I also attended Donaldson's Hall School for the Deaf, which is also based in Edinburgh. I stayed there for 10 years, it was a boarding school. And at the weekends, I used to use a taxi to travel home. While I was at Donaldson's, we went on a school holiday to Australia for one month. A group of us went. There was two teachers, three boys and four girls. While we were in Australia, we did a lot of sightseeing. We saw different animals, kangaroos, parrots and koala bears. It was really a great experience. It was marvellous. We also visited a small town, which was so far we had to fly there and we were excited because we were going to fly there in a small aeroplane. I took photographs of all the scenery. We even flew over a large coal mine. While we were in Australia, we stayed at a school. The food there was horrible. We didn't like it at all. It made our stomachs turn. We asked the teacher if we could go to the pizza takeaway, which was across the road, to buy some food and drink. They said no, we couldn't do that. So we thought, okay, we bided our time. Later the teachers left, and one of the girls climbed down the emergency fire escape, ran across the road, bought some pizzas and brought them back. We were really thankful for this. We all hid, ate the pizzas, we were really full and felt great afterwards. One of the girls that went to the school we were staying at, it was her birthday and she invited us to her house for a birthday party, so off we went. Our two teachers didn't go, they stayed back at the school. We were having a good time at the party. The girl's father came over and offered us some drink. We were shocked to see that it was beer. We thought, okay, we'll drink it. What we didn't know was that the girl's father was a policeman. We were surprised by this and didn't know what to do and he said it's okay go on drink it it's fine so we drank it later on though our two teachers came to the party and we quickly got rid of the evidence throwing the beer away and we just acted like nothing had happened later on the party came to an end and we went back to the school and went to bed we stayed there for one month in australia and when that came to an end we flew on to another place which was which was Bali. Oh aye, that was a really hot country. We stayed there for two days, just relaxing, chilling out, taking up the sun. It was really lovely. The sunsets at night were breathtaking. The sky turned a beautiful orange colour. Unfortunately, our time came where we had to come back home and we were really, really disappointed. Now I work at the Fourth Valley Sensory Centre where I'm employed as a caretaker. I've worked there now for 14 years. I really enjoy my job. It's great to see deaf people using the service and all chatting away. There's no communication barriers. My duties involve getting rooms ready for meetings and events that take place within the centre. My dream holiday is hopefully one day go to New York. So hopefully I will achieve this.